Hey everybody, happy to see you guys. I hope everyone is doing well. But if you aren't doing well, if you feel a little bit lonely, um, especially because of the holidays coming up, this video might be just for you. So I have been receiving some feedback and some messages and uh, quite a number of people feeling depressed on the holidays. They have a special sensitivity because for some reason um, they are, aren't in a relationship, single, maybe getting over breakup and sometimes it's hard to see everybody having fun and you are you think you are the one that's having a hard time. On top of that you think, oh my gosh, I'm single, something must be wrong with me. So first of all i think rephrasing things and being more aware of reasons you know or um maybe changing uh, the way we see ourselves and events in our life i think can really help us to feel better within not just to put a smile and say oh i'm doing great <laughs> but to really understand maybe there is a reason for me now to take some time and be single so I can discover who I am, who I really am, what I really want and stop relying on people to hold my hand. You know, some people are stuck in a relationship when they aren't happy. So it's kind of like they are in a relationship, but they're very miserable because they feel lonely. So, you know, which one you would choose? You are in a better position compared to that because there is nothing more uh, sad and unfulfilling and, and uh, painful than being with somebody but feeling absolutely detached. So everybody, you know, there is always a situation that's worse than yours. And not to mention that I really don't think that being single is a curse. I really don't think so. And um, it really depends on your attitude. You know, when we become single, we forget how much struggle our relationship was how much limit, limiting it was for us, how we were dreaming to have just one hour by, by ourselves, or being able to be ourselves with the person we are with. Because unfortunately, in not so happy relationships, we aren't able to be ourselves. So we forget all those downsides of our not so great previous relationships, and we... Um, going to all this grief oh i'm single something wrong with me nobody needs me and stuff like that often when you are single it means that you have a standard that you have been through things so now you know exactly what you want that you realize that you're not gonna compromise anymore you're working, you're using this time to work on yourself, to becoming a better person, better partner, I don't know, better human. Because you need to be in accordance to that partner you want to be with. And, of course, you're doing it for yourself. But instead of asking questions, oh, why I'm alone, or why is this happening to me, and all that, you asking yourself a question, how can I improve myself, how can I get better, how can I de really believe, deserve, uh, the, um, really believe that I deserve to be in a great relationship? I'm not gonna settle for anything but great. I am not saying that things are gonna be just perfect like in a movie, but when you have the standard, you know. It's easy for you to say no to people you don't want to be with. You don't go out to some dates just to sit there and talk about weather or some celebrity gossip. You would only go with somebody who is of interest to you, you know, and also who is uh, um, who deserves your attention. 
So I think this mindset shift is, you know, is a powerful thing. You can enjoy being single so much, especially if you don't have kids, <laughs> because you don't have responsibilities. You know, you can go for most craziest adventures. You can go out. Uh, you can travel, you can do amazing things, you can make a creative project, you can commit to, I don't know, a diet plan and change your body, you can change your, your soul. The thing is, when we are in a relationship, all these things, very often they need approval of somebody. So that's just the practical part that we forget. But really, uh, to me, uh, the most important is to realize no, I'm single and it's awesome. I'm going to step into my power. I don't need to ask a permission to be great. I don't need anybody to, you know, to pat me on the shoulder and hold my hands. I'm about to discover who I really am and where I'm going. And I can now say after bad <laughs> pattern of relationships I've been, I can now say and put it in writing, I go, um, I would only accept love that's mutual, that's nurturing, I am ready for love, I am ready um, to be admired, I am ready to be appreciated. I'm ready to be cared for, and the list goes on. These are things I'm ready for. These are things I'm having in my next relationships. That is what I'm, I'm into. And start giving those things to, you, to yourself first. So I don't really think that... Um, it's a negative thing by any meaning. I think if you step to our power, the best time to do so is when you're single. Because you have less distraction, you have less things to approve with another person, you can just step in and start doing and realize what's your standard, what's your dream. You know, visualize kind of relationship you want and how you feel in that relationship and practice that in your mind. And you will see that you will start to attract totally different kind of people. I can guarantee you that. But it all starts inside. And um, it's worth to looking into. Discover yourself. Hey, maybe you are in a stage you don't even want to date for quite some time. You want to take this time because you're trying to recover. So we're all in a different situation. But really, uh, take this single time. Enjoy it. It might be the best time of your life. <laughs> So thank you and I will see you next time.